work better together with WebEx meetings. We've got hybrid work and meeting from anywhere on any device covered. WebEx meetings is secure with integrated audio, video, and content sharing. There's also closed caption with translation into over 100 languages and incredible AI features like noise removal and the WebEx assistant and so much more. In this video, we'll navigate the in-meeting user face from my computer, so that way you know where to find everything WebEx Meetings has to offer. You can also join meetings from your mobile phone, tablet, or video conferencing devices. If you need more on how to start or join a meeting, be sure to watch Starting and Joining WebEx Meetings. Let's dive right in. At the top, we've got the meeting information. This is a quick place for you to copy the information if you need to send it out to someone and get access to all of the information that you need to provide to your attendees. Over here, you've got layouts. How do you want to view the meeting? In the very bottom left, you've got the WebEx Assistant. The assistant is an intelligent, interactive virtual assistant to help you out. You can ask the WebEx assistant to create an action item, highlight key moments, and much more. It will even schedule a follow-up meeting if you need it to. Next to that, you have closed caption. Closed caption can be turned on independently by you and other meeting attendees. Next to that, you're going to find real-time translation to support your global audience. Now let's head down to the meeting control buttons. First, we've got muting and unmuting. Clicking this will toggle it back and forth. You can also access all of your audio settings. Maybe you need to change your speakers and mic that you're using. You can also confirm that noise removal's on. This is what's going to drown out all of those background noises. You can also access other audio settings. And at the very bottom, if you need to switch your audio, you can. You don't need to leave the meeting and rejoin to make a change. We've got your start video and stop video. This will turn your camera on or off. At the very top in the options here, you can change the camera if you have a different camera you would like to use. You can change your virtual background if you don't like what's behind you, and you can also access additional video settings. You've got your share content button. This is where you can go to share your screen or just individual applications. You can choose to share just a file, which is an image of the file and not the actual application. Share your computer's built-in camera or an external USB camera. When you share your camera, participants can see whatever your camera sees. They will also still see your self view. And then last is advanced, and this is where you can choose to share a portion of your screen. For attendees, whatever you share is going to show up right here in the middle in the content viewer. Let's keep on moving. We've got the record button. This is where the host or co-host can initiate that recording. We can raise our hand. We can also share reactions to the speakers. And then we also have more options. Perhaps I'd like to lock my meeting, add more people, start a whiteboard, open up the breakout session panel, or access additional meeting options. All the way on the right side is where I'm going to access my panels. First, we have embedded apps. You can integrate apps that you use every day into your WebEx meetings. Next to that is participants. This is where the host or co-host can go to mute individual lines. And I can mute everybody and unmute everybody at the same time. I can also choose to turn on mute on entry and lock the ability of people unmuting themselves. Next to participants, is chat. Chat is one of my favorite tools for interaction. You can also share GIFs and you can react to chats as well. So you can format your chat here. Next, Slido, supporting all types of polling and Q&A. Go to slido.com to create content ahead of time. And for those ad hoc moments, you can always create something on the fly. Enable Q&A here for threaded questions and answers that attendees can upvote. And when it's time to launch, you can do that here from the panels or at slido.com. And we also have content. Content is where I'm going to be able to add files to allow my meeting attendees to download them. And if you are using the WebEx Assistant, you'll also have the caption and highlight panel. This was just a starting point, but hopefully you're feeling more comfortable with where to find everything during a meeting. Now some best practices. If you're new to WebEx meetings, one of the big best practices is to practice. Grab a couple of coworkers, have a quick dry run ahead of that important meeting. 
The next thing I recommend is not using all the bells and whistles at first. Get comfortable with one, and as you get more confident, introduce more to make your meetings more engaging and interactive. And here's a good one. <laughs> Do you really need a meeting? I bet you're a little bit surprised with that. With so many options to collaborate, messaging, sharing files in those messages, sharing whiteboards in your spaces, or recording a vidcast. Before you schedule, can you convey the message another way? Be sure to check out more at WebEx Academy.